The Bennington County Headquarters for Meals on Wheels, located in the county's Senior Citizen Service Center in Bennington, was one of the stops made by officials from the state's Attorney General's Office on Thursday, May 10th. The event was part of a statewide listening tour being conducted by the office to hear directly from seniors about some of their concerns and to get ideas about how services for seniors could be improved. Jared Bianchi, an assistant attorney general, got the discussion started with a few comments, touching first upon some advice about phone scams, some of which play on senior citizens' vulnerabilities. Uh, if you get a call from somebody saying this is the IRS, um, give us money or we're going to put you in jail, for instance, that is not the IRS. The IRS will not call you and demand payment over the phone. Um, another thing to be aware of, uh, as you may be aware, Medicare is going to be sending out new Medicare funds. Um, for a long time, they had your social security number on them. You're going to be getting a different number. Because of this change, we've seen a lot of reports about, thank you. We have seen some reports that people are being contacted by scammers saying that they're with Medicare and they need your social security number to finish that change. Medicare will not contact you and ask for your social security number over the telephone. Transportation and bus service were among the topics the people who had gathered for a noontime meal at Meals on Wheels mentioned and asked about. Cell phone coverage was another. Um, have you had any experience with folks who maybe live a bit further beyond the bus line? What's, what's their experience well, with that? Well, there are people, and Jane herself used to live about uh, 15 miles away, and, and she used to come in by bus when necessary. You need service on Saturday and Sunday. There is a bit of service on Saturday, but it's a bit of a day. So what Dottie is saying is that uh, she thinks that Vermont could do um, do a good job having additional cell service. No, we should have it. We've got people that don't have it, and, and that's possible. Everybody says you should get a button. And uh, as a Vermonter, I share your frustration um, with that experience. Ilsa Svoboda is the executive director of the Bennington County Meals on Wheels program, and she added a few observations as well from her interactions with seniors. Um, when people come into the cafe, they have concerns about, well, I have concerns about them. Um, I think that there's some um, medical issues that people don't address, and whether it be mental issues or physical issues, there's, um, I'm a social worker as well, aside being from an executive director, but the problem is, is that these people don't have the sources to get the help they need. So we, we've been bringing people in to have discussions on how they can um, get services, but some of them, some of the clients, they don't want to make that step to, to get those help, you know, to get that help, so they come through me, through the social worker. However, um, Council on Aging is our, um, a big fund, you know, they fund us. So they each have case managers that they can go to, but, um, problems with hunger. Um, some some people, this is their only meal they have all day, and it's a great meal, but it might be the only meal that they eat all day. And Jared Bianchi summarized what he and his counterparts, who were fanning out across the state and speaking with other groups of seniors, were hearing from the sessions. Experiencing difficulty in getting to, uh, for instance, medical visits. Um, there have been a lot of concerns about folks who maybe make too much money for Medicaid but not enough to really afford all their food uh, or all their medications. Um, we've been um, hearing a lot from some of the Council on Aging and you know other folks who work with older Vermonters uh, about um, the need for additional resources to serve older Vermonters who are, for instance, mentally ill or, or, or experiencing addiction. Um, because, uh, as you know, uh, as you get older, some of those issues are compounded. Um, so that is certainly, uh, that is certainly uh, something that we're hearing in Bennington, in Franklin County, and all over the state. Listening sessions like these will continue through the rest of the month in other locations around the state.
For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.